This is question number 23 from the August 2016 Algebra 2 exam. So in this problem, we're going to solve this system of equations and figure out which one of the four values given is not one of the solutions. We're going to start by looking for two of these equations that we can add or subtract together to eliminate um, a variable. And in fact, if you notice the first and third equations, if we add them together, both the a variable would cancel out and the B variables would cancel out. It's going to be super useful because then we'll be only left with an equation with one variable, C, and we can solve it. So if we combine those together, the A's cancel out, the B's cancel out, now we'll have negative C plus negative 5C, that's negative 6C, and then we'll add negative 20 plus 2, that would be negative 18. So in this case, C is going to equal to negative 18 divided by negative 6, or positive 3. Now let's look for another two equations we can combine together to eliminate a variable. I notice we have a positive 5b here and a negative 5b here, so if we were to add these, the first two equations together, the b variable would be eliminated. So let's go ahead and do that. So a plus 4a would be 5a. The b's cancel out, and then we'll have negative c plus 4c, that would be positive 3c, equals negative 20 plus 19, that would be negative 1. So now we have an equation with two variables, so we wouldn't be able to solve it on its own, but don't forget, we already know that c is equal to 3. So we can, in fact, just replace c with 3, and now we have an equation where we can, oops, now we have an equation where we can solve for a pretty easily. So this is the same thing as 5a plus 9 equals negative 1. Then we're going to add, or sorry, subtract 9 from both sides of the equation to get negative 10 over here. Divide by 5 to get an a value of negative 2. All right, now that we've got two of the three variables figured out, we can get the last one by taking one of the three equations Let's take the first one because it seems to be the simplest. And we're going to replace a and c with the values that we know they now represent. So a is negative 2. Uh, we don't know b yet, so we're just going to keep that the same. And we know c has a value of 3. All right, so this is the same thing as 5b minus 5 equals negative 20. And we're going to add 5 to both sides to get 5b is equal to negative 15, and then dividing everything by 5, we get a b value of negative 3. So of the f three solutions we have, we have a negative 2, we have a 3, a negative 3, but 2 is not part of the solution, so that is our answer. All right, I hope that was helpful, and that is all for this video. Thanks for visiting JD's Regions Preparation.